Hey guys, welcome to Pelton Pits. Hey, today is all about a two ingredient smoked appetizer. We're wrapping everything in bacon. We've got all kinds of ideas for you. If you guys want to see this, here we go. The rain is coming down crazy. I apologize in advance. Two ingredient appetizers, everything wrapped in bacon, everything that I love. Let me show you what we got. We got your ravioli, we got your mozzarella sticks, some pizza rolls. We're going to do some onion rings, some potatoes, some pickles. We thought about some meatballs, Woo, good old honey bun, and some Oreos. Season your potatoes with an all-purpose seasoning. Simply enough, Everything's gonna be wrapped in bacon. Simply enough, we're just gonna season the outside of them. On the trigger they go, roughly about 275 degrees. The times are going to vary, so we'll pull them as each one or each food group is done. Alrighty, roughly about an hour and 10 minutes later, we should have something like this. Ignore that, smoking a tenderloin. But we're gonna pull some of these off. There's no reason just to like have these overcooked. So that's the Oreos. Yep, and these are the, uh, what do you call it? Cheese, uh, fried cheese, what's fried cheese? Mozzarella sticks. Pizza rolls can still be on there. Ravioli probably can still hang on for a minute. Alrighty, the smorgage board is done. So we got the honey bun, we got the Oreos, we got the pickles, we got the mozzarella sticks, the meatballs, the uh, pizza rolls, onion rings, potato wedges, and ravioli. How are we gonna eat this? Because this is not a one biter. You also need to cut cut some in half. I don't want that. You can have that. No to the Oreo. I'm going to give you, a, since it's so loud, I'm going to give you a thumbs up or thumbs down what I think when you bacon wrap something. The Oreo. Mmm. Try that. You want to try it separately. That is dang good. Holy smokes. The potato rat bacon wedge, season and then bacon and then season again. Ooh, that is, that's a winner. That's good. Healthy onion rings. Tastes like bacon. You can't taste anything. You kind of get some onion on the back end, but not like you would on an onion ring. 
I'm pretty excited about these pizza rolls. Meatball. Mmm. I like the meatball. I do. I don't think the rain's bad enough where I can even talk. I'm not playing sign language. Interesting about this, I was worried about the bacon making the breading soggy. The one thing I immediately thought of was, what if you bacon wrap a jalapeno popper? That was another option, but I was worried about it being soggy. No. We've had one of these off camera? Heck yes. Mmm. Mmm. This is my surprise. Out of all these. Here, let me try it like, like this. That's been the biggest surprise. I actually like a little bit of the crunchy noodle along with the soft noodle. Full of cheese. And last but not least, had a lot of hopes for this one as well, the pickle. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Yeah. All righty. To sum everything up, there are actually more things that we thought of than what we did. So you can get creative as you want. Thumbs up. I definitely like the potato wedge. I think the potato wedge and the ravioli were my number one and number two. Followed by the pickle, the meatball. I did like uh, the, ravi the um, pizza rolls, but it took a while for those flavors to come together. I wasn't as big as a fan on the Oreo. And the only reason why I didn't necessarily like this as much, you can see how dense it is. It's just for the sheer fact, I think the honey bun just absorbed all the bacon grease. I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing, but maybe like the honey bun warmed up with like crunchy bacon on top. I just didn't like how dense it was. The onion rings, I wouldn't do again. The ravioli, the potatoes, absolutely phenomenal. And yeah. there we go. These. Yeah, the potato wedges. You could dip those in a queso, good. a jalapeno cheese queso. Obviously, you have your ranch dressing. Uh, with the meatballs, the first thing I thought of, you can experiment with so many different sauces. You can go the barbecue route, you can go the sweet chili route. I know the holidays are coming up and the grape jelly and barbecue sauce kind of in chili sauce mixed together makes a really good sauce. Creative as those. But that's why we wrap everything in bacon because we believe everything is better with bacon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. I like the smorgasbord idea. Mm -hmm. I know you thought I was crazy. But instead of just doing one idea, I'm glad we did them all. Mm -hmm. the, the potatoes are a winner. The potatoes are a winner. The ravioli is a winner. Let me douse one of these like that. I'm going to get one of those too. Me too. <laughs> mm.